The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has detected radioactive iodine in seawater samples around the plant 7.5 million times higher than the government's legal limit. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it detected 300,000 becquerels of iodine-131 per cubic centimeter in samples taken around the water intake of the number two reactor before noon on Saturday. It also found 200,000 becquerels of radioactive iodine, an amount five million times higher than the limit in samples taken at the same spot on Monday morning. Monday's sample also shows cesium-137, whose half-life is 30 years at 1.1 million times higher than the national limit. TEPCO has been checking radioactive materials in the sea around the plant because water containing high levels of these substances has been pouring out of cracked concrete pit near the number two reactor. Highly contaminated water was detected earlier there. On March 27th, 13 million becquerels of iodine-131 per cubic centimeter were detected in the water in the basement of the turbine building. Three days later, contaminated water was found in a nearby tunnel. Professor Koji Okamoto of the Graduate School of the University of Tokyo says it has become clear that high level of radioactive substances from the reactor are pouring into the sea. He says the flow of radioactive water must be stopped immediately. Small fish caught in the waters of Ibaraki Prefecture have been found to contain radioactive cesium at levels above the government-mandated safety limit. Ibaraki lies to the south of the Fukushima Prefecture, site of a damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Officials in Ibaraki say the fish, called a sand lance, contain 526 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram. The acceptable limit is 500 becquerels. This is the first time that higher than permitted levels of radioactive cesium have been found in fish. All local fishery cooperatives in the prefecture have agreed to suspend fishing of sand lances at the request of the prefectural government. If the contaminated water keeps leaking, it'll gradually ruin the sea. What we hope is one thing, stop the leak. Meanwhile, Tokyo Electric Power Company is battling to stop highly radioactive water leaking into the sea. The company says it will try a new method on Tuesday. TEPCO discovered on Saturday that water with over 1,000 millisieverts of radiation was gushing from a crack in a concrete pit near reactor number two. After attempts to plug the leak with concrete and absorbent polymers proved unsuccessful, the company now believes there may be multiple cracks in the tunnel leading to the pit. TEPCO will try to solidify the gravel around the tunnel by pouring a chemical agent through a hole in the ground. It says the work will begin Tuesday. In an effort to contain as much contamination as possible, TEPCO is also considering setting up undersea silt barriers near the reactor's seawater intake ducts and two other locations.
Well, the ongoing nuclear crisis in Fukushima is already starting to have an impact on Japan's energy policies. A Japanese government panel has decided to suspend its discussions on the future of nuclear power for the time being. The Cabinet Office's Atomic Energy Commission met on Tuesday for the first time since the March 11th quake and tsunami. Since last December, it's been discussing a review of the outline of Japan's energy policy for the first time in six years. However, the commission says that due to the gravity of the situation at the nuclear plant, it'll suspend its deliberations because the accident has shaken the Japanese public's confidence in atomic power. After the meeting, the head of the commission, Shunsuke Kondo, said it is undeniable that there have been defects in Japan's nuclear safety standards. He said this could lead to questions about the commission's very existence in the future.